Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Pia this side. So today we are going to learn one more new topic in Objective C that is Dictionary. So do you know what is Dictionary is? Dictionary is also used to store the collection of data like array but the major difference between them is it store the values with keys that means it store value and keys together so there will be a pair of value and keys here also there will be two types one is mutable another is immutable so immutable we cannot edit it but mutable we can edit it at runtime okay so we will see here how to use mutable and immutable dictionaries okay so i've already created a project named as dictionary and now we'll start with immutable dictionary okay so what we will do first we will allocate it that is ns dictionary give an object allocate it that is ns dictionary alloc in it with object and keys as i told you here keys are also been saved okay so what we will do we'll just create a pair of it so we'll create a pair of the values and keys like this okay and soon i'll uh, give the values so but i'll just create few more three is enough right okay okay so uh, like suppose uh, i want some list of numbers uh, maybe I'll go with uh, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And here I'll create NS log. So this is nothing but a list of numbers. So display some list of numbers for me. Correct? okay and here we'll add the object that's all so let's see whether it is working or not so can you see that 1 is equal to 20 2 is equal to 20 3 is equal to 30 so these are the keys and these are the values so did they have stored the key and values automatically and here it is showing list of numbers okay so this is immutable dictionary okay so how to use mutable so we know that in mutable we can do editing part so this is n s mutable sorry not array this dictionary as mutable dictionary We'll uh, create an object and allocate the memory. Okay, how that is NS mutable dictionary allocate in it with object and keys. Okay, so I'll just copy this. okay and uh, here i'll give hundreds 200 sorry and this one should be 300 i didn't change it here okay and i gave the same keys also now what i want i need a log and i'll just give here list of 
hundred. Okay, and we'll select the object which we have created here itself. That's all. So let's see first whether we are getting the keys and values or not. Yes, we are getting it. Can you see the difference? List of this is the number and the list of hundreds, 200, 300, like this. Okay. Now we'll do a little bit of editing part in this. Okay. What we can add an object or append an object. It's appending means adding an object. Okay. So how will you do that? Okay. So first we have already created an object. We will make use of it. That is text one. Here it is set object. Here it is asking to give null id. That means and here it is asking to give you key. So I need it as 400 and key I'll give as 4. Okay. Now if I run this, you'll get to know that one more object has been added. Can you see the magic? Yes. Now it's not a magic, it's just one line of code. So you can do it very easily. Now we will do one more thing. Um, I don't want this object, I wanted to remove it. How will you do that? Remove object. So here one thing needed to be noticed. Here it is not asking me to remove which object you needed to remove. It is asking me remove for the key I mean it is asking for the key which key you wanted to remove that means if you add the key here automatically object will be removed okay so suppose I'm just running this application and we can show you that how the object has been removed here so can you see here that uh, I have added this one which is was which was displayed before but now it is not there so this is all about the dictionary so if you do have uh, any uh, issues regarding this video so you can comment me out and if you really like this video just give me a thumbs up and do subscribe my channel thank you